Hello folks, my name is Rojo and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. When we last left off, we were exploring the Undercity here. We actually caught up with Mission Vow, or rather I guess she caught up with us in a sense. And uh, it seems like Zalbar, her Wookiee friend, is, uh, is a bit of a little, little spot of trouble. Uh, so we need to help her out. However, we do have a little bit more of the Undercity that we could be exploring here, and I think we shall do so. Just to see... If we can get any more goodies before we head into the sewers. Because um, I think after the sewers, we're probably headed toward the Vulcar base. Uh, I'm not 100% sure exactly how it's going to shake out here, but um, I think that is what was uh, discussed. I'm going to go ahead and actually uh, med pack myself here. I'm a little bit, a little bit banged up, but we're going to have Mission actually come over here and recover these mines because she is quite good at demolitions. There we go. Worst case scenario, we can probably sell these. Best case, we get get some use for them on the battlefield, but probably not. I'm probably not going to spend too much time setting mines unless we are uh, in a very dire situation or have a very difficult fight ahead of us, etc. Yes. Got a Republic soldier over here. This is a little bit surprising to see. What is up, my friend? Help. Help me. Please. I, I can feel it inside my skin. Something growing like some kind of hideous disease. Ooh, geez. Um, if we give him the serum, what happens? Here? Is there going to be enough left? Thank you. Those things, they attacked as soon as we came out the doors. They, they killed the others. It, it was horrible. All right, um... But uh, now that you're fine, let's talk about Bastila. Bastila? She wasn't in this pod. We were tracking her pod just before we hit the planet's surface. It went down somewhere to the west. We lost the signal when our own pod crashed. Maybe. Wait. What was that? Did you hear that? I thought I heard something. Uh, I didn't hear anything. Over there. I heard something. I know I did. There it is again. It's those monsters. They're coming back. Run for your lives. Dude. Dude. I just used the serum on you. What the fuck? Um. Yeah, I don't know about fist fighting a bunch of rat ghouls. That sounds like a bad idea. Ooh, we got light side points. Hooray for us. We're such a, such a nice guy. All right, we can't seem to... Uh, there we go. I was saying, we can't seem to quite attack any of these guys yet. But I guess we will do something like this. You can do one of those. And you, I suppose, uh, need to get Ready. into uh, position here a little bit. Let's have you try and do one of those. You asked for this. There we go. All right. I don't know if, I don't know if uh, these guys are going to be like the tough ones or, or what, but it always makes me a little bit nervous. I guess we'll do that. Oh, jeez. There we go. This improved power blast is incredible, by the way. Big fan, big fan. Um, do we have? Uh, we could try some rapid shot. I don't know if it's gonna do us much good. Well, yeah, there we go. Now he is poisoned, and he is going to fall over <laughs> at some point, uh, which is unfortunate. Oh, we got one. We got a straggler back here. There we go. Uh, and then you. Ready. Oh, he's not poisoned anymore, so I guess he might not fall over. That's good. Go. Just get everybody to use their special thingies here. Oh, oh there we go. I don't know how he took damage because I thought he was that no longer poison there. But what? There you have it. Now she's probably gonna fall over too. That's okay. That's okay. Getting some good XP from those guys though. And dead. No? Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> you babies. Alright, so we got some more frag mines over this way. Let's go ahead and pick those up. And I think we'll probably um, be done with this little section here. Seems like this is maybe the easy way to go through. Huh? Alright. Uh, no, no. Uh, recover, recover. Have I, been, I, think, I think I might have been disabling accidentally and when I wanted to actually recover. <laughs> That's okay. What? It's not a big deal. They're only minor mines anyway. By the time we get to a fight where we would even want to use a mine, we'll probably get like better mines to use. 
like medium or major or I don't know. I don't know what the scale is like, but something like that, I imagine. And packing credits is okay. Is this? Oh, so that's more sewers right there. So we got some guys over here. It looks like I'm a little bit, uh, a little bit wary. These guys, is that Candorous? Yeah. Don't, don't move. I'm, I'm not afraid to use this blaster if I have to. Settle down, kid. We've already lost enough men to those damn rack ghouls. The last thing we need now is more casualties from a needless firefight. Mm. By the looks of you, I'd say you're down here for the same reason we are. To salvage something from those downed Republic space pods. Let me give you some advice. Forget about it. Do yourself a favor and just head back from where you came. Uh, <laughs> man, who are you? That's Candorous Ordo. He's the most famous Mandalorian mercenary in this sector of the galaxy. This isn't a good place to stand around chatting. The Undercity is crawling with rat ghouls. I've already lost a half a dozen men to those monsters. Candrus, I heard something. Over there, in the shadows. Sounded like a rat ghoul. Yup. <laughs> it sure was. Looks like we've got company. Get those blasters ready, boys. Um... Yeah. Sure, yeah! you guys do that. Boom! <laughs> I think that worked out pretty well. I think that it worked out very well, in fact. Well, he's still got one guy left. That's pretty good, right? Damn. I told Davik this salvage mission was a bad idea. His men aren't trained for this kind of thing, and I can't babysit them all. Okay, boys. We're getting out of here before I lose anyone else. I can't carry all this salvage back by myself. You'd be smart to get out of here as well. Even if you can handle the rat ghouls, I doubt there's anything worth finding anymore. <laughs> uh, what do you mean by that? Davik sent me down here with this motley crew to scavenge whatever we could from the Republic escape pods that crashed during the recent battle overhead. But the lower city gangs got here first. Anything worthwhile in those Republic pods is probably in their hands by now. Davik won't like that. Alright, uh, uh, anything you can tell me about Davik? What are you, an off-worlder? Everyone knows Davik. He's a member of the Exchange. You know, the Interstellar Crime Syndicate. Smuggling, gambling, extortion. Davik controls it all here on Taurus. That's why I'm working for him. But lately, the lower city gangs have been giving my boss some trouble. Uh, well, speaking of, what do you know about him? This isn't really the best place to have these kinds of conversations. But I guess I could spare a couple of seconds for you. After all, you did help us out with those rat ghouls. The lower city is overrun with gangs. But the two most important ones are the Hidden Becks and the Black Vulkers. Used to be the Becks were the big dog and kept the others in line. But lately the Black Vulkers are moving in on Beck turf and challenging them for control. The Vulkers are even starting to defy Davik. Take these escape pods, for example. Everyone knew Davik would want first crack at them. But I know for a fact those damn Vulkers have already sent their own salvage party down here. Hey, anything you can tell me about Davik specifically? What are you, an off-worlder? Oh, wait. Everyone knows Davik. <laughs> We already asked him about that. Better get going. Come on, boys. Let's move out. Yeah, you guys do that. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, we helped him out, all right. With a grenade to the face. What? Let's level up mission, shall we? Um, she leveled up pretty quickly here, actually. Let's see. Let's give her kind of just more of the same, I guess. Um, hmm. This last one, I guess. Flesh out that awareness a little bit, like that. And for feats, you get sneak attack three. So what does this uh, what does this do? This is critical strike. So it doubles the crit range of melee attacks. Oh, I see. But she has sniper shot too, which is the same thing, I think. Uh, it doubles the critical threat range of range attacks. Um, if the attack hits, the target is also stunned for six seconds unless they make a fortitude save. But you lose defense when you use it. Interesting. Triples and quadruples the throw. That's pretty insane. She's also got um, this dueling ability, so she gets bonuses to hit and uh, bonuses to defense when she's using just a one-handed weapon, which I think is pretty okay for her. Um, 
I'm not sure what else I would give her. Maybe like some implants. We're probably not going to be using Mission all that much. So I don't think it matters too much. But I guess I will give her... I think I'll probably give her improved, uh, improved dueling here. Just for a little bit better attack and defense. I think that's reasonable. And accept. All right. And she should, yeah, she should be back to full HP. What? So Karth is in a little bit of a bad spot. We'll probably want to heal him in a minute here. Before we go and take on this other, uh, you know, we got this other sort of flock of rat ghouls back here. A minor frag mine there. I'm just trying to kind of get a get a, a sense of the area here. We could actually, if we wanted to. Yeah. I don't know how well this is gonna work. But let's. Uh, yeah. I suppose uh -huh. we come over here. Let's have you use a couple med packs, and by a couple, I mean all the med packs. There we go. Yes. And let's have you. Nope. Sorry. Let's have huh? you. Let's see, minor frag mine. See, oh, I see. We got to. Uh, so what if we? Uh, what if we do this? No, where are you going? Don't do it. Good lord. All right, recover this mine. Okay. And then what I want to do is uh, let me relocate this mine to like right here. Someone's gonna get hurt. Can we, we, so I don't think we can blow up our own mines inadvertently here. If we do that, then maybe we do like one more right here. Someone's gonna get hurt. Sure. And then, we, uh, kind of get everyone's attention here. Boom. Everybody come back over here. That's right. <laughs> so it did work. That's nice. <laughs> Helped us clear out one rat ghoul. Better than none rat ghouls, I guess. Of course, now our our uh, our defense is compromised. So we'll we'll pick that up later, I suppose. Everybody, just uh, yeah. Let's just take care of these rat ghoul fiends. So yeah, these those guys are the tough ones. But I think we're gonna be fine go um let's what? yeah let's have her oh god mission do not fucking go that way good lord no <laughs> okay jeez i'm gonna have her pick this back up There's, i mean we, we might as well not leave it behind at any rate save up here a little bit it's actually taking a little bit longer than i thought to finish this up a little bit more here than i thought a couple of corpses here as well We've got parts, we've got credits, both good things. Outcast corpses. There we go. Boom! One damage, well done. Well done, mission. Yeah, you showed them, alright. Antidote kit and a promised land apprentice journal. Now that, we didn't talk to uh, Rukil at all, I don't think, so we should probably do that. Because um, he might have something to say about that. I guess there was some stuff on this guy too that I just uh, that I just neglected to uh, to pick up. That's fine. Out in here, do we check this? Nope. Parts and rubble is fine. But yeah, there are going to be some more rat ghouls over this way, and we have gotten their attention pretty much immediately here. So let's go ahead and do uh, one of these. Just want to make sure Karth is actually still doing what he's supposed to be. Yeah, I think so. How'd you like that? There we go. I heard I heard. That's the good stuff. These are just regular Rackles by the looks of it. I guess that last guy was a fiend, or the first, or the second guy was a fiend what? rather. But uh, yeah, these guys, these guys have been sorted. I don't know if there's anything else here for us to pick up though. Does not look like it. But it was worth it to come out here for that little thing and the XP. So I think at this point we will probably pop over to Rukil and see what he has to say about this uh, this promised land shenaniganry. <clears throat> yeah, 
Yeah, I don't think there's anything else for us to do out here. So we got sewers. And there's an escape pod there. Did we did we check that escape pod? Let's let's just go look at it real quick. I think we did. Or at least we found a guy here, but I don't know if we actually looked at the escape pod itself. Let's just take a little bit of a closer look here. Is there anything? Not really. It doesn't seem like there's anything here. Although I don't think this is exactly where that guy was either. Maybe, well, maybe it was. No, I don't think so. But that might have been Bastila's pod. Over there? And then we have two entrances to the sewers. Okay, I see how this thing works. Okay. Alright, let's get back into town. Alrighty. There's Igir there. I'm not sure we can do anything with Igir. We're kind of doing things out of order here. We should have talked to Ruko before we, <laughs> we went out there. But, um... That's okay. Hopefully the game will figure it out one way or another here. Save up, and here we go. You... You come from the world above. Is this the time of destiny, then? Is this a portent of the salvation of my people? Or merely another false sign to mislead us from the path? Are you the herald of prophecy? The beacon to guide us through the darkness? Or are you merely another harbinger of shattered dreams and unfulfilled promises? Watch yourself. This guy's star chart is missing a few galaxies, if you know what I mean. Speak to me, Upworlder. Tell me what fate you unleash upon us. Salvation or damnation? Speak, Upworlder. I beg you. Uh, 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 what are you talking about? A question. You are uncertain, bewildered, perplexed. Yep. Understandable, I suppose. Even after a hundred years of life, I myself still become confused at times. You don't say. Perhaps I can make things more clear. Some things, at least. My name is Rukil, the oldest outcast here in the village. Rukul Wrinklekin, the children call me sometimes. All uh, right, well, my name is Drelix. What is it you want? Once I was honored for my wisdom, but over time the villagers fell away from the true path. Eventually, there was only a single apprentice who followed me, and now she is gone too. The true path? Do explain. No, 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 not yet. I must be wary. Careful, you may be a false savior. Dare I share my secrets with you? No, not until you prove yourself. Ah, uh, how would I do that? My apprentice is lost. I sent her out into the Undercity to find... Well, I cannot tell you. Not yet. Sadly, my apprentice has not returned. Please, Upworlder, will you help an old man? Will you seek out my apprentice in the Undercity? Her name is Malia. I must know of her fate, whatever it may be. I must know what she found. Ah. Well, uh, your apprentice is dead, I'm sorry to say, but I do have her journal. It is as I feared, then. She joins the list of those who have given their lives in the service of our cause. But though I am saddened by this news, there is yet hope. By finding my apprentice, you have proved yourself worthy, Upworlder. You are to be the beacon on our path to salvation. You will guide us to the promised land. I don't think that's true. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you've got me confused with someone else. You are marked, Upworlder. Even my dim old eyes can see the mantle of destiny that cloaks you. Perhaps old Rukil knows you better than you know yourself. Doubt it. I am old. I have lived a hundred years in the Undercity, cast down into the darkness. I know the legends and history of our people, and now you must learn it too. Oy. All right. Tell me the history of your people. The great city of Taris covers the entire surface of this planet. There is no land to grow food. 
Kelp harvests and the creatures of the sea are our only food source. A century ago, rising levels of toxic pollution poisoned the oceans and famine swept the planet. The rich hoarded food for their own use, and the poor were left to starve and die. From what I've seen of Terrace, it doesn't look like much has changed. Except for the upper city, people here are just as bad off as the poor in your little history. But the poor rose up against this tyranny, and civil war engulfed the planet. Millions died in the fighting, and huge sections of Taurus were destroyed or abandoned. The rebellion was crushed in the end. Thousands were taken prisoner. The jails could not hold them all, and so the practice of banishing all prisoners to the Undercity was born. Ah. So is that how you came to be down here? Many brave men and women were banished here to the Undercity for their part in the rebellion. People like my father and grandfather were cast down along with their families. What did you expect? If they could get away with it, the Teresian nobles would stuff their own mothers down here to make more room in the upper city. Now we live a dark existence beneath the streets of Terrace, a life devoid of all hope but one, the Promised Land. And you will be the one to show us the way to get there. Uh, do explain what the Promised Land is. We've heard that a couple times now. Legends tell of a self-sufficient colony founded just before the famine and lost during the Civil War. A paradise beneath the Undercity where droid servants tend to every need. For many years I searched for the Promised Land, just as my grandfather and father did before me. When I became old and gray, my apprentice continued the search on my behalf. Sounds like a myth to me. Something to give the people here some false hope to cling to, so they don't go mad with despair. I have collected many clues hinting at its location. The journal of my apprentice provides yet more information. But still, there are too many pieces missing from this puzzle. But I know my father and grandfather each had journals where they recorded their own discoveries. Perhaps with their journals, I could at last uncover its hidden location. Um, do we have one of the journals you're looking for? <laughs> uh, um, do, uh, do we? Well, I don't remember picking that up, but... Yes, Upworlder. Well done. However, I see that this journal alone does not have enough clues for me to solve this mystery. Too many pieces are still missing. I'm afraid that only with all three journals... My grandfather's, my father's, and my apprentice's. Will I be able to discover the location of the Promised Land? I will leave this journal with you for safekeeping for now. Perhaps it will aid you in your search for the others. I wish you luck, Upworlder, for the sake of the entire village. Um, all right, hang on. <laughs> uh, the Promised Land. So we need to find these other journals. We only have one. I'm about 100% sure of that we only have one anyway. Where's our, yeah, there's our inventory list. Um. Paper, just a trio. Sith papers. Zach side deck. Somewhere around here. I would have expected to see this. Journal details, the search for the promised landing carried out by Rukio's apprentice. Most of the entries are man mundane, but the last entry is quite interesting. I've uncovered evidence uh, that others have been seeking out the fabled land, and their tricks have led them into the sewers. I've decided that I must go there as well. Okay, so maybe that's where we'll find the other journals. That's what I wanted to ask him, because uh, you would think he would have his grandparents' belongings on him, but apparently not. So, uh... So there you go. There's uh, there's a little bit of quest action that we uh, almost skipped, <laughs> but let's. Uh... I saw you talking with Rukel. He told you his legends about the Promised Land, didn't he? He told you all about his missing apprentice and the other lost explorers, right? You know. Most people don't believe his stories. They figure he's nothing but an old cook. But I think there might be some truth in what he's saying. That's why I want to stop him. 
Ah, this is that's why I wanted to come over this way, uh, because I seem to remember Igir here being kind of a dick. <laughs> um, why, uh, rather, uh, stop him, what are you talking about? For an outcast, I've got things pretty good. The village relies on me to bring in food and supplies. I'm an important man. If it wasn't for Gendar, I'd be running this place. I get the feeling if it wasn't for Gendar, this place would be a lot worse off than it is. But if Rukul ever finds his promised land, I'm sunk. People won't need to rely on me anymore. I'll just be another nobody like all the rest of the villagers. I won't let that happen. Um... Begging your pardon, but that's kind of a dick move. Don't judge me. I learned a long time ago that if I want to survive down here, I've got to look out for number one. The two explorers who went searching for the promised land might have found something. They might have found clues or evidence, just like Rukul's apprentice. They would have recorded that information in their journals. I'll pay you if you bring all three journals to me. The two from the Explorers, and the one from Rukul's Apprentice. Then, I can destroy the evidence, and make sure nobody ever finds the promised land. I've saved up enough credits for my business here to make it worth your while if you help me. Boy, I better beat your ass. Or I oughta beat your ass. Talking shit like that. Uh, no man. No, I'm not gonna do that. Don't be a fool! I'm the only one here who can pay you for those journals. Rukil has nothing. He won't be able to come up with any kind of reward. Once you have all three journals, just bring them to me and I'll give you a decent reward. Now, was there something else you needed? Uh, well actually let's buy some stuff. <laughs> it ain't the best stuff. Uh, <laughs> oh, how, how quickly morals fade. Um, give me that, give me that. And, uh, do we want any of this stuff? Maybe, uh, I don't know about the retinal combat implant so much, but maybe this scope or this Arcanian heavy pistol. Well, we can't even afford that. Hmm. Does have some nice stuff. I think we're going to buy the scope. But, uh, yeah, we don't really have enough to do anything else, so we'll just leave it at that. I'm not, I'm not worried about a vibration cell. So, since we're not really going to be doing much with with melee in this uh, in this playthrough, but yeah, that's going to do it for this episode, I guess. Um, we didn't quite get to the sewers; a little bit more left here than I expected. But uh, yeah, when we when we come back, we will, I promise, you definitely be going to the sewers in one of these two entrances here. And um, I guess we got a lot to do there. <laughs> Hopefully, Zalbar's still okay. <laughs> but until next time, my name has been Rojo, and thanks for watching.